Hey, and welcome to Aristea 101. Today we're going to be talking about the simple synergies for the orange team. Musashi, 8-Ball, Gata, and Wild Bill. So the orange team is the second pre-made team that comes with the Aristea core set. Uh, last week we went over the green team. Obviously, we're going to go with the orange team now. So first off, we're going to look at Musashi. He is a bit of a wild card when it comes to this team's composition. Uh, he's an amazing character. He's got a very high initiative of 6. Uh, he moves pretty fast at 5. He's got great defense with a green and a blue. And, and he can keep opponents in place with a very good brawl. And is actually pretty good at getting away. He's a character that must be reacted to. A demonstration of how powerful he is, but it's kind of also his greatest weakness, I think. Uh, Musashi pretty much has a bullseye on him wherever he goes. Now, his versatility means that he can fill a lot of roles in the team. Do you need an alternate or even a second score? Musashi can do that. Do you need a blocker? He can do that too. Do you need to grab initiative? He's your boy. While he's not the be best at everything, He's actually pretty good at a lot. Ideally, you want to keep Wild Bill and Gata alive, but you know if you can't, well, he can pick up the slack to some extent. So the reason for that being, of course, is he's very fast. And he's got very high initiative, like Gata, and like Wild Bill. Well, he just brings damage to the table. It's kind of scary when you get down to it. Now, because of Musashi's offensive potential, he's quite potent in the one-one range. Now, this is really the possibly the only real restraint in his capabilities, but it's actually not much of a problem. Gata can clear the way for him against ranged enemies by dazzling them. Uh, her ability to support her team in this manner doesn't always get the appreciation it deserves from new players, I feel. 8-Ball uh, can place and displace targets to be next to Misashi to be dealt with appropriately. While 8-Ball is much better at blocking and disengaging the Musashi, he might be needed elsewhere. Um, so, likewise, feeding an enemy to Musashi is a great use of his abilities. Now, the threat of Wild Bill's ranged offense can force your opponent to split the reaction between Wild Bill and Musashi, reducing the kind of the overall effectiveness um, of that basically via dil dilution. Um, if you're focusing on one, the other was kind of got leeway to do other things. Now, tactics are an area Musashi brings a lot to the table for his team. Only one of his cards is for him, and rather than anything being particularly tricky, they're all very straightforward. They're kind of like the standard tactics deck in a way. Tsuchi Do is universally useful. Uh, chances are you're only going to get You'll get at least one block, but getting two isn't unlikely uh, with the black uh, dice. All characters can use that, and that's great given pretty much everyone on your team except for Gata can make use of the blocks on their switches as well. Mizudo is a universally useful card. Adding one action point will give you a lot of options for one character for most any purpose. Um, for Musashi himself, for instance, he used that and he can actually attack twice in one turn, not counting the possibility of his switch going off. That's fairly potent. So it's additional offense, you can do more control, more movement. It's a card that's really hard to go wrong with, and it's pretty much as flexible as you would want a card to be. Sora is an automatic green critical basically removing a die that's about all you really need to know about it that's again almost universally useful and Kazido is only for Musashi but it gives him additional movements so if you're trying to get to a farther distance out uh, for scoring or if you just need to move a little bit and you're trying to save your action points for other things so much the better Now, 8-Ball is kind of the control for this team. Uh, this is more of a um, player-based control compared to, say, Hexer, who's got a little more range on what she can do. 
So uh, 8-Ball is slower than Musashi, but he has uh, more control in terms of his uh, brawl roll and even his disengage, and he's got a little bit more health, um, 5 compared to 4. Um, he can get around the board more easily than most people in this team, and he can also lock down enemies better than anyone else on this team when he, if you were to get to adjacents to them. Uh, when you factor in Eat My Fa Jing and Be Water Dude, he's got a lot of tools to basically control and manipulate the positions of who or whatever's within his threat range. Now, 8-Ball's repositioning is going to be very important for making the most of, say, Wild Bill. Is line of sight not there? Do you just need to m nudge someone one hex, uh, whether it's Wild Bill or the target? He can do that. Uh, if an enemy is too close or even adjacent to Wild Bill, you can basically pry them off of him. Um, if they're out of range, you can bring them back in. Do you need to hide Wild Bill after he attacks? Uh, you could actually place uh, him behind uh, Wild Bill behind Eight Ball. Similarly. Positioning characters along Gata's path gives her targets for her free run ability. Or moving characters like Maximus with particularly good and high brawl rolls. So you're kind of making the way, as it were, for Gata. And again, uh, feeding Musashi uh, enemies is always a good possibility. And it's kind of a good idea given that you don't really use 8 ball for damage. He's sort of similar to Max's in that regard. Uh, you can, and you can certainly boost him up, but it's not really his forte. Now, if you look at his tactics cards, so um, Block, which is like uh, Tsuchido, but I, I'll probably say it's kind of better, uh, is going to be very good on this team since, again, three quarters of the characters can use Block results in their respective switches. And, of course, Blue Dice, always welcome. Barrel Through is a good card for 8-Ball, Gata, and Musashi as they all have displacements. 8-Ball especially benefits from this since it's usable on himself or on a target he displaces, whereas Gata and Musashi only displace themselves. Badass Boom and Dance for Me are both very good cards for position manipulation and since they are for targets rather than ally or enemy, this gives you a lot of versatility in using them, and I think really the best thing here too is they don't require a roll. You play the tactic, and unless it gets countered, um, it just happens. Uh, reliability is a wonderful thing. Now for this team, Wild Bill is the other damage dealer along Musashi. Um, it's kind of a yin-yang thing, one's melee, one's ranged. Um, he's relatively quick to act with his initiative, but he's not the fastest mover in the group. But given that he generally wants to stay behind the other characters or off to the side, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, he is making up the ranged offense for the team. He can do a lot of damage pretty quickly. So this does make him a target, but at the same time, I would say Gunslinger uh, keeps opponents honest simply because he can turn his defense into an attack. This is kind of a last-ditch thing, potentially, or if it's a, a weak attack. But at the same time, um, you don't necessarily want to use it a lot. Well, for starters, he'll take damage. Uh, but also, his switches, character switch is dependent on getting blocks, and that lets you get cards added to your hand. That's a really nice thing to have. Now, given the switch for twin pistols, he shouldn't be too far away from the action. Uh, the switch needs is really only valuable when there's two possible targets for him to attack. So you need to make sure his line of sight is not blocked. Uh, so keeping this in mind, uh, Musashi, when he does damage, he can displace himself. So you can displace Musashi out of Wild Bill's line of sight. 
uh, so he's not to block the enemy. And 8-Ball really should be repositioning characters to be more favorably placed in general. Um, while Bill's defense is you know, actually pretty good, but still, hiding him with 8-Ball isn't a bad idea. And at the very least, you can push him into cover uh, as an option just to get the additional black die. Uh, even if the opponent is dazzled, uh, the black die, again, is more of a chance to get a get the character switch, getting more cards in your hands. And of course, 8-Ball just fishing targets out of cover uh, would be a great thing as well to do. With so, Gata with Wild Bill actually has one primary purpose um, you know you can have her go and score but a great thing to do with her is to again just go out and dazzling targets so that way when Wild Bill attacks them um, and that would be you know they have to be range uh, 2 to 6 um, when they make their defense roll they will not be able to use their successes to actually do damage back to him that is very important, and that's really the biggest thing you can do for uh, she can do for Wild Bill. It keeps him safe, and any um, re really anything that happens to come up that's a, a block can just go straight into his character switch. And of course, Musashi. Um, Wild Bill can finish off opponents that Musashi didn't send to the infirmary and conversely while Bill can soften up targets for Musashi uh, hunting support or control that would negatively affect Musashi ought to be a high priority I think uh, just because Musashi does so much um, I think that's a very good function of him uh, <clears throat> for while Bill is to you know make sure that Musashi's not impeded from what he's doing, so going and getting Major Luna so she can't slow him uh, would be very good. Uh, taking out Hexer so she can't immobilize or slow him would be a great thing to do. Things like that. Now, when it comes to tactics. Um, Ace of Spades is a useful card, but the cost can be a bit high. Um, you know, it's like, okay, Dead Man's Hand, and I'm going to discard, I'm going to discard, I'm going to discard, and you're getting more successes, and that can be very important when you do it. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, but you might discard something that's useful, and I, I realize you, you do decide what to do. Um, I would recommend if you take Ace of Spades, maybe adding Ace of Hearts to go along with it so you can at least fish something back out. Um, speaking of which, Ace of Hearts is good for the entire team just by virtue of you can get back a used card, a used tactic. And pretty much every character in this team has a card that you would probably want to use more than once if you get the chance. Um, if you happen to have Gata's Go All Out and Musashi's Mizudo in your deck, you know that's two action points right there. But if you can fish one back out after using it, that's three. Um, and it's possible to get these three cards at once if you are actively trying to draw cards, draw cards, draw cards via Wild Bill's um, character switch. Um, Ace of Diamonds is an amazing card to have. Uh, let's be quite honest, uh, a free attack is awesome, uh, especially when the free attack is Twin Pistols. And really, sometimes the best support you can have is to actually remove an obstacle <laughs> uh, in the way of uh, a character like Gata. Um, and effectively, you cannot even, even look at it as a complete... Uh, do over. Uh, certainly, I've had terrible roles with Wild Bill before, even though by all rights I shouldn't have. And then Ace of Diamonds, well, that just adds a nice boost to any role, and it's actually particularly good for both Musashi and Wild Bill uh, with their attack switches. Um, having that yellow there really helps out with that. 
Now, Gata as scorer and defense. Um, it kind of actually puts it all right there. Uh, she is the highest initiative character on the team. She's as fast as Musashi. Uh, she can hop over targetable obstacles, which are characters, and the obstacles that you actually find on the hexadome on the board. So she can actually really get around fairly quickly if you plot things out right or if you set things up well. And of course she can prevent enemies from retaliating against ranged attacks or even engaging in ranged attacks using uh, Dazzle. So misdirection, which is how you dazzle people, uh, is a great way to help Wild Bill and 8-Ball uh, not worry from... Um, the damage from attacking, uh, assuming that's if you're using 8-Ball and he's not adjacent to whoever he's interacting with. But on top of that, just going ahead and making sure that Musashi does not get gunned down first thing <laughs> is really important. Uh, this scene has no healing and for the most part no other forms of damage mitigation. Um, so you need to be proactive if there's a lot of ranged characters on the other team. And if they got ranged support, so much the better, because you can stop them from buffing themselves or debuffing you. And again, all characters have free run potential, so keep that in mind. It doesn't matter what you want her to do, whether she's scoring or going around dazzling everyone, uh, but it helps her get there faster and possibly even get away just by saving a few movement points here and there. So tactics-wise, uh, well, Swerve is a displace and can combo off of 8-Ball's barrel through. Uh, it's usable by anyone, which is great, and that's going to be very useful for Gata and Wild Bill in particular. Uh, Gata, just because she needs to get around faster, um, she's got a pretty good uh, agility roll for disengaging, but uh, honestly, if you don't have to roll, uh, which gives you the chance of failure and losing your whole movement pool, you know, it's that's a good use of it. And while Bill, well, he cannot attack someone who's right next to him unless he's using Contender, and if you're using Contender, something's gone wrong. So him being able to just displace and get one away so he can actually shoot uh, is massively important. Uh, go All Out is like Musashi's Mizudo. Again, gain one action point, and it combos with Mizudo and Ace of Hearts. Uh, the action economy here really uh, benefits from that. Uh, the more you can do, the better off you are. Uh, Quicksilver is useful for both scoring and getting around to Dazzle. Um, it prevents a lot of negative things that can happen to you, which is fantastic. Um, so it doesn't matter what you want to do, it's going to help her do that. And it stops, helps prevent people from stopping you. And finally, you got Pain's Presence, which is, well, it's not a heal. Uh, it just delays the inevitable but sometimes that's all you need. Um, it'll keep her off the bench, so the moment you have to use that, make the most of it. Um, get to the scoring zone or dazzle the heck out of everybody, even people that would normally just tear her to bits. Um, at that point, I'm not going to say she's as good as dead on this team composition, but she is almost as. So this team kind of works in an interesting fashion um, when you compare it to the green team. Um, you do have to be thoughtful. You do it, it benefits, I think, shifting parts. You want to kind of always be balancing off against Musashi and Wild Bill for your offense. And you know they're both going to be high priority targets. You're going to have to. But then you got 8-Ball and Gata, who kind of perform very different functions in the game, but they're kind of complementary to each other if you let them be. Um, and that 8-Ball can protect Gata 
or he can set Gata up to do more things. Uh, likewise, Gata can help protect 8-Ball or take advantage of what he set up. Um, so I think it gives you a lot of fluidity, but it doesn't really... It, it emphasizes um, tactics, but it doesn't emphasize uh, support and uh, debuffing the same way that the green team does. So really, if you're new to Aristea, I really strongly actually recommend you play both teams a few times. Once you've had maybe two, three per team, start mixing it up. You're going to start seeing possibilities and, oh, I wish I could do this with them or that with this other character. You'll see combinations come up that weren't presents that you couldn't do before and now all of a sudden you can do them and they're going to be very exciting. So that's it this week for the uh, Aristea 101 Simple Synergies. Next week we're going to be going into, well, Soldiers of Fortune, my first recommended expansion for Aristea. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.